Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the kingdom, y'all. You already know it's the king speaking to you, and welcome back to I Am Setsuna. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, y'all, because we already know the kingdom's better with you than it is without you. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is part four. All right, y'all, so when we left off, we were going into here, into Purika, so let's check out what's going on in here. This must be the village that Nita was talking about. Oh, my friends, you're all here. You're all safe. We met you on the ship. Yeah, he's the Magic Consortium guy. Glad to see you remember. Yeah, he's that guy that ran real quick when we were like, yo, back up if you don't fight. Thanks for helping me out back on the ship. So you made it to the mainland safely, too. You're a lucky man. Well, I don't feel very lucky. All my cargo went down with that ship. So I'm planning on setting up shop here for a while. Are you headed for Felonia Citadel? That's right, it seems we have to cross a mountain to get there from here though. Aha, well, you don't need to worry about that. There's a series of caverns that leads to the Citadel. There is? Yes, the captain should be able to unlock the entrance for you. Oh, what a relief. Have you got everything you need for your journey? Make sure to stock up on items before you leave. And if you have any materials that you got from monsters, please do sell them to the Magic Consortium. We always do our utmost to offer the best possible prices. Inside the village, you'll also find my fellow traders. There's a blacksmith, an apothecary, a chef. They're all inside the pub to the left of the village entrance, so please give them your business, too. Alright, so let's see what this guy has to sell or give or what. Okay, so we can only sell stuff to him? Uh... See, I don't know if I need these, like... To be able to... Um, like create stuff. So I'm gonna go to the. Okay, I can't buy any of this. I'm gonna go to the the blacksmith. Members of the mech are found in towns. These members will buy the materials that you monsters drop, as well as receiving gold. You can also obtain sprit knife stones. Monsters will drop different items according to you how to use them. Okay, I'll come back to him. I just want to make sure I don't need like items to, um, like make better weapons. My son's in the resistance, you know. Says he doesn't want to be a farmer like his old man. He's doing it to protect the village. I know that. I just always thought he'd follow my footsteps. Yeah, well. Sometimes things change, bruh. This guy looks important. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. The antipode dagger. How much is it? 2,800. Damn. Okay. So here we got some talismans. Necklace made from the Siege of Jiraiya Tree. Its name seems from comes from the sound of a night breeze against the siege, which resembles a newborn cry. Sure. Thank you. Uh, a tube made from the rainbow-colored glass. Dense magical energy is sealed inside. Thank you. Can I equip these? Talismans. So he is on this. I'm giving the chain of the newborn cries. She is on this. I'm gonna give her that. And then hit the frog doll. I could buy another one, but I'm not going to. This guy looks like he's. Okay, so he's the one who got the potion and stuff. I got nine. Let's buy one more. Let's have at least one of these. At least one of these. That should be good. Thank you. This is a bit much, don't you think? What do you think this place is exactly? The man selling herbs I can't just understand, but a blacksmith? The chef's pleased, but he can get his pot and his knives fixed on the spot, but really, come on. Is the chef? No, food! What the fuck? Chefs are found at villages. By talking to them, you can purchase food. Food can only be used from the menu and comes into effect in the next battle. Okay, so foods give you little, like, status effects, like, little, um, enhancements, um, for the next battle or so after you eat it. I want to find the blacksmith. Here's one of these chests that I can't open. Okay, these people don't look like they'd be blacksmiths. Yeah, now nah, he don't have anything to say.
Ah, this might be the blacksmith right here. I got five ethers too. Um, yes, what is it? Uh, maybe he's not the blacksmith. Are you the captain? Yes, I'm Freya. Something you find out about my face, is there? Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I just never imagined that the captain would be a woman. Travelers, are you? We want to get to Flonia. Flonia Citadel. You certainly don't look like any merchants I've ever seen. I can't just let a group of unidentified people through. If you want to get to Flonia, you'll need to explain yourselves. Uh, we're sacrifices guard. Is that the best you could come up with? That's true. It hasn't even been ten years since the last sacrifice. We are not lying. Have you not noticed? The monsters are more ferocious of late, and their numbers are increasing rapidly. If something isn't done soon, there will be dire consequences. That's why I was decided to send another sacrifice sooner than usual. Hmm, I see. And that sacrifice is you, is it? I too have sensed the monsters growing more ferocious. It is becoming harder and harder to deal with the ones near the town. Are the sacrificial rites losing their power? Or is something else already? Or I? <clears throat> I have indeed been feeling a strange sense of uneasiness lately. But that's only all the more reason for me not to let you through the frost caves. But why? The monsters in the frost caves are even more dangerous than those above ground. I am responsible for guarding this village. And I cannot send a sacrifice on a guard of just two to their deaths. So what should we do? I've been training up the youngsters around here as a resistance force. I want you to at least choose one of them to take with you. Uh, you've been training them? The monsters aren't going to wait around until things are convenient for us. We need to be ready to fight back at any time. We met a man in the abandoned village near here. Is he part of the resistance too? Oh, so you met Nieder. Technically, he's a little different. He did once serve as part of the sacrifice's guard, but... Really? He accompanied a sacrifice? Oh, he didn't tell you? It was almost 20 years ago now. He didn't seem like the type. Having someone experience along would be a great help. Do you think he'd join us? I very much doubt it. He's not the man he once was. Oh, I see. I don't know what to do with him, to be honest. He hasn't been back in his hometown once since the pilgrimage. He ended up staying here the whole time. Why's that? Well, maybe you should try asking him. He's all the way back in the joint. Anyway, let me introduce you to my men. They should be out in the village square training as we speak. Come with me. Uh, okay, you got three whole guys here, looking very ordinary. Okay, I see. They can all hold their own. Want to test their metal? All right. You like we get the? Oh, they got scared. But what do you mean? I hate to do it, but it looks like we've got no choice. Let's see what you've got. Huh? What for? If you really are strong, we'll have you join us as part of the guard's sacrifices guard. Wait, what? Right now? Is that really true, though? You'll have to us join the sacrifices guard? The three of you can come at us once. We'll start when you're ready. I look looking nervous, y'all. Are we really going to fight these guys? They look pretty tough. I really don't like the looks of that guy in the mask, either. No, I want to grow stronger. I'll show them what we've got, and I'll join the sacrifices guard. Nieder's never been the same since coming back from the pilgrimage, though. Even if we do get a hero's welcome when we come back, if we end up like him, then... What are you, stupid? Just because Nita ran himself down, it doesn't mean we will. I want to be a hero. I want to be spoken of in legend and myth. Anyway, this might be the only chance we ever get to join the Sacrifice's pilgrimage. What are you blabbering about? Hurry up and get yourselves ready. I'll do it. Alright, I'm with you. It'll be fine. He's just wearing that mask to look tough. Come on, let's get him. Ah, oh, these boys are about to get it. Looks like they're ready. Oh, it's about to be game over for the boys. Wait till they hit the cyclone on them. Damn, it did pretty good damage. She gotta heal herself already? Okay. Yeah, they're doing 30s. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty intense. Damn. Okay, do I have... Yes, I have enough for another cyclone. 
He's still going. And they're really going after Setsuna right now. They are not playing with her. She's the sacrifice. Why are you trying to kill her so badly? Alright, one's down. She's the only one they're attacking. Alright, she's got her momentum built up. There we go. I'll attack with her for right now. Solid 11 damage. Good job, Sasuna. This one should be about dead, too. That's it. Damn, 94 experience. Not bad. It's no good. We don't stand a chance. I never imagined the Sacrifices Guard would be this strong. Yeah, on second thought. How pathetic. They really were no match for you, eh? Regrettably, they do indeed have little real combat experience. What? Why would you give them to us then? Can we go now then? It's obvious no one's here going to be up to scratch. No, there is one person. Really? Where are they? Standing right in front of you. You mean, you'll come with us? Well, what choice do I have? If no one else is up to scratch, then I'll have to go myself. You sure you're strong enough? Oh, it's like that, is it? I may be past my heyday, but I haven't lost my edge. In combat, experience and intuition count for everything. Thank you. It'll be a great relief to know that you're with us. Now that it's settled, I need to get ready. Come on, what are you doing? Taking a nap? All of you, patrol duty, now. What, now? My legs, they, they won't let me. We need the rest of the day off. Pull yourselves together. You're going to be defending this place by yourselves for a while. These guys? Sorry, but can you wait here? It won't take long. I need to do a final patrol while I kick some life back into my men. Oh, they were out. Hey, they ran right through me. Please rest yourselves in my place until I get back. I'm still trying to find the blacksmith. So let's keep looking for him because I accidentally stumbled upon her. Oh, damn, I went back to her place. Let's take the captain up on her offer until she gets back. Not that we really have time to be sitting around. We've still got a long way to go. We need to take every opportunity we can to rest. Oh well, looks like we've got no choice. I wonder why he's never been back home, not even once. Maybe something happened on the pilgrimage. You mean neither? Yes. Say, how about we try asking Nieder to join us too? Why are you so interested in him? Because he has experience as part of the sacrifices guard? Well, there's that, of course. I don't know, there's just something about him. Like, he needs our help almost. Alright, let's think about it when we captain gets back. Alright. Don't you think she's taking a little long? Yes, you're right. She says she was just going on to the final patrol. <laughs> Help! Not again. Someone, please. Every time I go into a house and I rest, something happens in these villages. Has something happened? Apparently so. That voice sounded like it was coming from the entrance of the village. Alright, get up in here, squad. Let's go. Excuse me, where's your blacksmith? Where's your blacksmith? I know you're not the blacksmith, no, Captain's seriously injured. They probably won't help me right now anyway, so I'm gonna have to wait. I'm probably gonna have to fight off this monster or whatever first. I got a hail beam, nice. Okay. So let's go to the... Okay, everyone's health looks good. How the hell do I get to the front of this village? I guess down here. Oh my goodness. Captain. She'll live, but her wounds are pretty bad. Be careful carrying her. Hey, Nita, you're back. 
And don't you worry about them. They're just shook up. What on earth happened? A man carrying a huge sight suddenly attacked us. The cat protected us and now I was just passing by and I found the captain all beaten up. So I carried her on my back and dragged the, these three back here as fast as I could. Damn it, why did you run away? You should have fought him. You're supposed to be a hero, aren't you? I barely managed to run. There's no way I would have stood a chance against a freak like that. Forget it. It's me who's the fool for thinking that you'd help. That man might still be in Sarendale. I'll avenge the captain. I swear it on the name of the resistance. Hey, come on, wait. Damn it. You two treat the captain's wounds. You can manage that much, can't you? Alright, beat it. Now, I'm telling you this for your own good. You should all get out of here. It seems that freak was after the sacrifice. And that's you, ain't it, miss? So you mean because of me, the captain? Don't let it get to you. That's just the way the sacrifice's journey is. So someone's trying to get in the way of the pilgrimage, eh? Sounds like a little... Sounds a little like someone else I know. I don't know what you're talking about. Even if we wanted to leave, before we can go anywhere, we need the entrance to the caves unlocked. And also, the captain said she was coming with us because our guard was too small. No chance. She's gonna need complete bed rest. So what are we supposed to do? She said she wouldn't let us through unless we upped our numbers. Neither. I hear that you once successfully accompanied a sacrifice on our pilgrimage. Can't you help us, too? Sorry. But my journey ended a long time ago. Once the captain wakes up, you get her to unlock the entrance to the caves and then be on your way. Now, I have some business to attend to in Sarendale, so excuse me. I guess we're gonna end up going to Sarendale and helping this guy out. So, what should we do? We need to go to the blacksmith. Uh, let's follow him. Well, maybe you're right. I wasn't too sure about him when we first met him. But the way he brought the captain and the others back like that? He's strong, and he can obviously keep his head on an emergency. But even if we do go after him, do you think he'll agree to join us? I want to talk to him more. It's like he's carrying some sort of burden. That's the feeling I get. And I think that might have something to do with why he won't join us. Anyway, if we don't do something, that man who attacked the captain will hurt more people. I know Neater said what he did. But I don't want people to suffer because of me. Sorry for being so stubborn. That's alright. No problem. How like you, Setsuna. Alright, let's follow after Neater. Alright, y'all, so I'm gonna try to find this blacksmith real quick. This is terrible, the cat's wounded. Got some water, broccoli. Oh, so I'm stupid. This guy was the blacksmith the whole time, probably, because he sells weapons. He just doesn't have any weapons. Alright. Fluxation. If characters go with a talisman, the flux bonus fluxation will sometimes randomly occur. Alright. Got it. Okay. So then let me sell my stuff to this guy. Materials. What's these, what's the green all about? Should I just sell the stuff that doesn't have like... I don't know. Stuff that's not usable. Sea God's Rainbow Scale. Keep the rest of the stuff for a little later. Let's head back to Sarendale. Which way was Sarendale? Was it, it was down here, right? Down to the like southwest ish. Yeah, I think this is it right here. Yep. What the hell? Oh! Okay. Yeah, that guy needs to be on my team. Wow. You don't think the fact that there aren't many monsters around here could be... Probably thanks to my man. You saw what he did? Yes, I think so too. So that's why he was so tired the first time we met him? Is that what he's been doing ever since he came back from the pilgrimage? But why would he do that? 
probably a protected village. There's that, of course, but I think there's another reason, too. Damn it, Sasuna, just listen to my answers. The people of the village think that their peaceful lives are thanks to the sacrifice. Nidor never went back home and staying here fighting off the monsters. Could that be because he didn't want anyone to doubt that the sacrifice was protecting them? If so, that might just mean... We'll need to check the last part with the man himself. Yes, right. Let's go, Endir. Oh. Some more Purika Cobbler. Alright, so I guess I'm going to have to go... Oh! God damn, penguins. Hit him with an X strike. Ooh, Zack kill, Link kill. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. He's screaming in your face. Oh, he's just focusing though. He's about to get you. That's it. 14 experience. Nice. A lot of different materials there. Okay, so we lowered the bridge over here. Oh, more monsters. Here we go, another X strike. Oh, he did it. Oh, man. I wish he would have did it the other way. Oh, time kill. What does that mean? Momentum kill. We got another 14 experience. A bunch more items. And I checked down here, right, and there was nothing. Oh, Amber Rock Salt. Okay, so let's see what's across this bridge. Some more enemies. Oh, look at that. I think it's adorable. Let's try to take out this penguin first, though. Nice, I hit both at once. Uh, nobody needs heals, so you can attack Satsuna. <gasps> oh god, I didn't do that much damage. I got nervous, I thought she was gonna do a lot more damage than that. Okay. Can I use cure when I'm not in battle? No, it doesn't let me use it when I'm not in battle. That sucks. Okay. Nothing down here. Nothing suspicious about the boat. One of these chests that's locked. Damn it. There's gotta be something like later in the game where you can come back and like find keys or something to unlock this these chests. Alright, let's hit him with a There we go. I'm really killing my MP though with these X strikes. No! Oh yeah, there wasn't anybody nearby. Stupid. And am I poison? I think I am poisoned. Am I poisoned? I can't tell. Because my health's not going down. <gasps> okay. If my... I'm guessing I'm poisoned? Cure sap status, there we go. Got a hair shuriken. Oh, I still gotta equip, what's her name with that weapon? I forgot I got her new one. Oh, and she got a new one too. Okay, so you can have the hair shuriken. That is cooler looking. And I got her the antidote dagger. Oh yeah, both her daggers are pretty, pretty sick looking too. How far away did this guy go? Okay. Oh yeah, we'll do it. Fuck it. Why not? No, 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 no. Why are you curing yourself? I don't know what the hell just happened. It was a mistake. Right. Try to kill this thing before it self-destructs. Ah, I didn't have time. Of course not. Thanks, as soon as I leveled up. Please look Flux's dad on. Okay. Oh, there's a treasure chest if I go over this way. Chaos or bracelet. Okay, 
talisman. This bracelet is set with seven chaos orbs. They represent the colors of the bridge of across the sky. Critical rate hits, the port bonus. All right, let's give that to her because she doesn't have anything. Anything good at least. Snow crown turn up. Damn. Anything cool about the circle? I don't know. Alright, y'all. I don't want the video getting too long, so we're going to wrap it up right here. Thank you so much for tuning in to part four of I Am Setsuna. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, y'all. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when the next video comes out so you can be ready for part five when it goes up. Also, you already know the kingdom's better with you than it is without you. Thank you so much again for tuning in to part four. I really hope you're enjoying the game. I am too, and we got to keep going to see what Nieder's up to, y'all. We got to figure out what's happening. So until next time, y'all, peace.